Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. You guys have one of these thermostats in your house, you got a bunch of wires going to it. Stay tuned to this video, I'll tell you what all the colors mean and exactly how it works. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Like I said, we're going to be talking about thermostats today. And before we begin, I want you guys to know I appreciate all my subscribers and one thing I noticed is that about 95% of my viewers aren't subscribers. So guys, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button, uh, give me a thumbs up on my videos and it will help the channel out a lot and keep me relevant in the YouTube algorithm. All right, with that out of the way, we're going to talk about thermostats today. Everybody, well, I shouldn't say everybody, but mostly everybody is going to have a thermostat that looks something like this in their house and along with it comes a bunch of wires that are connected in it. A lot of people get intimidated by these wires and they're not sure exactly what color goes where and what wire does what. So I'm going to show you guys today exactly how it works. It's not as complicated as it seems. Um, and hopefully after this video, you'll pretty much be a pro and understand a little bit better exactly how a thermostat works and what all the colors in the thermostat mean. All right, I'm going to jump to the table and I'm going to take apart the thermostat and I'm going to show you pretty much how most thermostats look on the inside and what the different colors of the wires mean. All right, like I said, guys, here we have a thermostat. This is a simple uh, seven day programmable thermostat. Yours may look something similar to this. Uh, this one does have batteries. Um, yours may not or yours may have batteries, but I'll go over it and talk to you a little bit about why some of them have batteries and why some do not. Usually, uh, thermostats are just held to the wall with some sort of screws and they're pretty much separated from the backing plate which goes against the wall and your thermostat literally just snaps in place and snaps into this. So I'm going to remove the thermostat here, set it aside and we're going to talk about the terminals as you can see here and here. Now if you do notice um, your existing thermostat is going to have some color coded wires similar to this. Um, you may have four wires connected, you may have five wires connected, and in some cases you may have up to seven wires connected. But um, again, I'll talk to you about what each one of these colors mean and why we have these colors connected. Now, the most important uh, color that you need to pay attention to is this one here. This is your RH and your RC, which is basically heating and cooling power. So basically the most important wire is your red wire. Now what happens in a thermostat is your red wire has power coming in and depending on what happens or what your thermostat tells your air conditioner, your furnace, your boiler to do, the red wire is going to basically um, connect to each one of these or multiple terminals. So for example, um, I'm going to go over this, but if you want your fan, if you put fan only, your fan is connected to this terminal. So what happens is your red and your green connect internally and then your fan come on. So basically your red connects to each one of these to give it power to tell the thermostat what it wants to do. All right, so let's start off with, uh, we're going to work on the right side and then we're going to go on the left side. So. On our thermostat here, we have the red RH and RC, which is for heating and cooling. Um, normally they have a jumper connected, so it just, the thermostat selects whether it's heating or cooling and it will send power to the relevant terminal. So here we have our red wire, which will go into this terminal. Now your terminal block may look like this, or it may be push pins, but in essence you would, um, Loosen the screws here, you would slide the wires in after they're stripped like this. It would go in and then you tighten the screws back down. I'm going to show you how it looks uh, once I'm done and how they slide in. But uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to go over the colors for now. So again, our red wires will be connected here. Our green wire, which you can see here, is for your fan. So this controls the fan in your um, AC unit or your furnace or whatever. Typically, G is for your fan. Y is going to be for your cooling 
which would go to your, which would control your compressor, um, or uh, which would control your compressor on your AC unit. So again, power, fan, and compressor. On the other side, we have our blue wire, which typically goes to your common. And your common is what gives your thermostat backup power. So you saw in this case, we have batteries in our thermostat, which basically stores memory for a thermostat. But in some cases, you, especially when you have a smart thermostat, you're gonna to need to have this wire connected to your thermostat at all times so that it sends power and it powers your smart thermostat. O is going to be for your reversing valve. If you have a heat pump, this is for your cooling on your reversing valve. And B is going to be for your reversing valve for your heat. These two are used if you have a heat pump rather than a traditional AC unit. And usually the colors would be, uh, the orange wire would go to the O and the B would go, would be blue. But if you have the common connected, typically what would end up happening is if you do have this and the blue wire goes here, then the common would be used with a black wire, okay? Um, and if you don't have one, they would use the brown wire or something like that. Um, and W stands for white, which will be your heater. So if you have an electric heater, which um, we do usually down here in, you know, southern part of Florida, um, typically we use electric heat. So we would use the white wire would be connected here. Um, you can see there are more colors as well. In some cases, you may have uh, W1 or W2. Uh, now, don't be scared. W1 and W2 either means one or two stages of heating. Um, some AC units have a heater that comes on in stages. So if they do have that capability, you would have to connect to W1 and W2. And in similar scenario, um, they may, you're, you may have a multi-stage compressor. And in some cases, you may see Y1 and Y2. Um, and if that's the case, then your thermostat coming from your compressor would have, you would have two wires instead of one yellow wire. So you would have to connect it to Y1 and Y2. All right. Um, I'm going to show you guys how these would look if you had your thermostat on the wall and how the wires would look as they go into the terminals. So as you can see here, we have the wires connected. Our red is connected uh, under the RC terminal. We have our green connected to G or Y or yellow to the Y terminal for a compressor. The white for the W, which is controlling our heat. And in this case, I put the brown to the B, which is our reversing valve or on heat or orange to the O terminal, which is our reversing valve on for cooling and C, which is our common, which is our 24 volt, which powers the thermostat. Now, uh, the pins, I'm gonna loosen it up to show you what it looks like, but typically you're gonna either have push pins or you're gonna have screw terminals. You can see here, the terminals, the wires just slide out. And again, to tighten them, they just slide in and the terminals tighten down onto our wires. All right, guys, um, that's pretty much the basics of how the thermostat what works. Um, I'm gonna sh have another video here shortly where I'm actually going to replace a thermostat and I'm gonna talk to you guys about my thinking whenever I replace a thermostat, uh, some of the tips and tricks that I use uh, to make the installation go easier and sometimes and I'm also talk to you about the possible problems you may run into whenever you actually install a thermostat. So now that we have our thermostat all wired up, I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit of how it works. So if you guys have your thermostat on and you turn the temperature down and you want it to get colder, what is actually happening is that you're getting the red is connecting to the green and the white, uh, the yellow. 
which basically means that the compressor is running and your fan is blowing cold air. Um, likewise, if you want, if the turn, likewise, if you turn the thermostat to heat, basically what's happening is the red and the green and the white are connected. So you're going to have your fan blowing and you're going to have your heater running. So that's how you're going to get uh, hot air blowing through your AC unit. Um, likewise, if you're having heat, but you have a heat pump, in that case, you're going to have the red and um, the, the B, which is in this case, the brown. So the red, the brown and the green are going to be running. So you'll have your fan and your reversing valve for your heat. Same, and likewise, if it's the opposite way and it's cooling and you have a heat pump, it's going to be your orange, your red and your green that are going to be connected. All right, I hope that helps and you guys get a better understanding of how thermostats work. All right guys, welcome back. Uh, I hope that was a pretty interesting video. I hope you guys learned a little bit about thermostats. Um, once you understand what the color of each wire means, the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, but the, the whole concept of thermostat wiring is just, um, it's not as complicated as people make it out to be, or you may take your thermostat off the wall and see all these wires and get freaked out. Once you see all those colors and you understand what they mean, you'll probably feel a little bit more confident in replacing your thermostat or troubleshooting your thermostat um, if that's the case. So again, guys, I appreciate the time. Thanks for watching the channel. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share the video and give me a like. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.